Today we're going to show you how to open up the top of your washer and inspect the internal discharge hose where the black mold grows that's actually causing the odor that you're smelling in your front load washer and uh, show you how to inspect your machine. If you don't smell the odor yet, uh, quite often you have some amount of black mold that's actually growing inside your machine and so we're going to show you how to uh, uh, inspect to see if you have the black mold uh, started yet or not. So this machine is a Whirlpool Duet. Uh, different machines uh, will be slightly different, but um, I'll go through some of those differences. Alright, so this is the back of our Whirlpool Duet. It has three screws located here, here, and here that are either a number 7 metric or a T20, a Torx 20 bit. Uh, other brands will either be a Phillips or a quarter inch uh, nut driver uh, as well. Uh, the LG machines actually have a, a piece of metal that's flat here and this, there's two screws, one here and one here that come down from the top. When you take out those two screws, it will do the same as what uh, the uh, Whirlpool Duet is going to do here. So you simply remove the three screws, one or two if your machine happens to have two screws. And then uh, if you have an LG, it will be the two uh, screws here when you take those out. Uh, GE, I believe, is uh, similar. It will have uh, two or three screws here in the back. So uh, all the, the machines have a very similar design for the top. Once you have the screws removed, you can slide the cover back. Uh, it only slides back about a half inch to three quarters of an inch. Um, the discharge hose goes from the pump at the bottom of the machine comes up to uh, a connection here at the top of the machine. You can look at this fitting here and uh, sometimes it's white, uh, sometimes it's uh, clear kind of like a uh, milk jug. Uh, so you can see if you've got some uh, uh, black mold growing in there. If you have black mold you'll see some darkness inside the, uh, the clear fitting. Uh, some of the newer machines actually they've gone to uh, making this white so that you can't see what's inside of it for obvious reasons as I'm about to show you. This is a uh, example of uh, one that is used but uh, pretty clean. Uh, if you look there's just a little bit of darkness uh, in here uh, but it's been uh, out of a machine for quite a while so it's pretty well dried up. But the whole hose should be clear like this and if you've got black mold uh, growing inside the pipe you'll see it'll be like this where it's dark. Uh, the black mold normally starts growing from the very top of this pipe and then starts working its way down the pipe and to the bottom of the machine. It's at the point when it gets down to the very bottom of the machine where the pump is uh, that you start to smell the odor. But just because you don't smell it yet doesn't mean that it's not already in the top upper part of the hose and is starting to work its way down. So on uh, the uh, Whirlpool, again, same uh, T20 bit or a 7 millimeter. Uh, GE and some other machines use a quarter inch nut driver uh, or a Phillips uh, screw. There's three screws uh, right here at the bottom. One in the middle. And one right here at the side. You just pull it down and off. Uh, inspect the hose uh, where it comes into the back of the uh, pump and see if there's any darkness in the hose there as well. Uh, some of the newer machines, the manufacturers uh, for obvious reasons have started to use a gray hose so that it's not clear so that you can't see the black mold that's actually in there. And uh, so if you have a gray hose uh, you'll actually need to use a player's and disconnect that hose from the pump and look inside the hose either at the top or the bottom to see if you've got any uh, black mold uh, in the hose if you want to inspect it. Uh, otherwise, uh, to be safe, we recommend you just put the washer fan on any machine, whether it's new, old, smells yet, doesn't smell yet. Uh, if you have the smell already, the black mold's bad enough, usually your smell is going to be gone in a day or two. Um, and then the washer fan will prevent any more mold from growing and over time that will, uh, with the mold not growing anymore,
with just normal use, no extra cleaners, no special cleanings, it'll start to, to flush itself out over time. One thing you may want to consider doing, um, if you keep your machine in a very damp basement, out in a garage where it's not air conditioned, um, the washer fan can only circulate the air that's around the machine. If you have very humid air, the washer fan will help, but you may need to periodically clean out this internal discharge hose in order to make sure that you don't have uh, any mold if you're in a very, very damp environment. Um, if you have the smell right now when it's really bad, uh, go ahead and install your washer fan immediately, but you may want to consider just replacing this uh, internal discharge hose. Um, it's only about $13 from a uh, website that we recommend and, and uh, have used ourselves for parts called repairclinic.com. On the website, uh, under the links uh, uh, link at the bottom of the page, there's actually a link that you can go right to the Repair Clinic uh, um, site. It's uh, about $13 plus tax for the Whirlpool. Um, and just buy one and keep an extra one on hand because uh, it only takes just a couple of minutes to swap this out. You only need a pliers to pinch this clamp together and uh, on the top and bottom to actually change this pipe out. And if you put in a new one, then it's not going to have any black mold in it. And then with having the washer fan installed, unless you're in a very, very damp environment, it will prevent any more mold from ever growing in this again. If you're in a very damp environment, and a little bit of mold does start to grow over time, in a year or so or whenever you start to notice any black starting to form in the pipe, what you can do is the uh, when you swap this out, the one that does have some mold in it, when it dries out and, and that mold dies over time, you can uh, run a hose uh, through it and, and kind of flush it out. Uh, I've tried to clean this when the mold is active and, and when I've just taken it out of the machine. It's possible to clean it, but it's really, really hard. That mold gets in all these little nooks and crannies of the hose and it just doesn't want to let go. That's why it's kind of a joke, all these cleaners that the manufacturers are selling uh, to clean and, and uh, get rid of the, the washer smell, it's not actually fixing the problem. All it's doing is getting rid of the odor for a few weeks and then only to have to require you to use their, their product over and over and over again in order to keep the odor under control. But just because you're not smelling it doesn't mean that that black mold isn't there and still coming in contact with your laundry every time you do a load. Now, some different manufacturers like LG, for instance, the pump is over on this side. Their hose is a one-piece hose that connects to the pump goes up and out the back of the machine and goes right to the drain where the Whirlpool uses a two-piece design. So um, Electrolux is another one where the uh, it's a one-piece hose. Uh, Electrolux also makes Frigidaire uh, where it goes from the pump out the back and right to the drain. So uh, you, uh, if you buy an extra hose and, and want to swap that out, um, it, just keep in mind it'll be a little bit longer and it may be a little bit more expensive. I haven't priced on one of those. One common misconception about the odor that the machines develop over time is that any amount of mold that you may see on the internal gasket here, a lot of people aren't aware that you actually need to periodically pull the rubber back inside your door because most of the machines have a, uh, a catch down here that's designed to catch, uh, like right now there's just a few pieces of hair in here. Um, to catch debris, to keep it from getting down into the lower cleanout. Well, what happens is over time, uh, when you don't have a washer fan installed and you've been leaving your door shut, the uh, black mold can actually start to grow down in here a little bit. But any amount of mold that you uh, see here is real minimal compared to the amount of black mold that's actually growing in the internal discharge pipe. So this really isn't causing the odor or really isn't causing the, uh, uh, the problem. It's just another symptom, but the major problem is actually the internal discharge hose and the, uh, the black mold that's in there. Now with having your washer fan installed, and as I've covered in the other video, just leaving the front door slightly open, that fresh air that's being pushed in through the drum and then out the front of the machine will help cut down on uh, any uh, mold that uh, has been growing here. Uh, if you have some there now, 
go ahead and clean it. I've seen some machines that were actually uh, where the mold stained the rubber and although it was clean it still looked like it was dirty. Um, if you've cleaned it then you're good to go and uh, uh, once it's clean having a washer fan installed that will prevent any more uh, black mold from growing in the future. This unit has the uh, the washer fan already installed and uh, as you can see if you look inside here there's a tube that the fan pushes the air into that tube and then inside the machine there's a rubber boot that connects up to the washer drum and it's actually blowing the air into the washer drum. Well the drum also has an air vent going up to the drawer where the detergent goes. So when air is circulating through here and out the front, a small amount of air is also circulating up into the, uh, the washer drawer as well. By having the washer fan installed, you're not only circulating air through the drum, you're really circulating it through all the internal, internal components that are normally airtight. And so it will help cut down on, on mold growing in all the nooks and crannies inside the internal parts of the machine. So the moral of the story is whether you smell something in your machine or not yet, do yourself a favor, get a washer fan kit, get it installed, it runs continuously, it'll do nothing but help circulate air through the machine and then whether how bad your mold is or not right now in that internal discharge hose, it's up to you whether or not you want to replace the hose, try to clean the hose, uh, if you install the fan and do nothing with the hose, the smell will be gone in a day or two, but over time, without that mold growing anymore, it will start to flush itself out. But that's your call whether or not you want to go through the extra uh, uh, work and expense of uh, uh, doing the, uh, replacing the internal discharge hose or cleaning it if you're really ambitious. But uh, um, without doing all that, the washer fan will do its job and will stop any more future mold growth and... Uh, uh, get rid of the odor and even more importantly really than the annoying odor is getting rid of that black mold so it's not continually coming in contact with your clothing every time you uh, do a load. Thanks and uh, check out the rest of our videos on the uh, site here showing you how to install the washer fan and uh, uh, on a couple of different uh, machines.